I'm Jason Gray, and I'm sitting down today with Robert Henning, the director of the Rockpile Museum. And in April, I think you've got a couple of events coming up, right? Yes, a couple of uh, historical presentations coming in April that uh, should be really great. So if you can make it out, uh, the first one is Thursday, April 11th at 7 p.m. Our very own Justin Horn, our museum assistant, will be presenting about the murder of Ali Means. Okay. And this is some great local history. Um, we've known about this story at the museum the whole time I've worked here because we actually have the saddle that Allie was riding when he was shot. Oh. He was shot three times, and so that saddle has been in our collection for years. Uh, but no one's ever really written or presented this kind of story about it. So hmm. I'm very excited that Justin's taken this on, and um, he's going to tell the story from the beginning. So it was Allie Means and this other fellow named Noah Richardson, and they got into a fight um, over a woman. Imagine yeah. that. Um, it seems to happen. Uh, we, the matters of the heart seem to cause conflicts from time to time. Um, but Allie was riding away, riding into town, and uh, Noah Richardson, uh, being the scoundrel that he ended up being, uh, shot him in the back. Oh. And shot, he got shot three times. So I, I'm not sure we know how many times he was fired at, but he got hit three times and was able to get into town and, and sought help, medical help. Oh. Uh, they put him on the train, sent him to Sheridan, and he ended up dying up there in Sheridan um, and is buried there somewhere. Oh. That's part of the story. Somewhere. Somewhere he's buried. <laughs> um, I have personally tromped through the Sheridan Cemetery in the snow um, trying to find some kind of evidence. I need to go when the weather's nice. But um, he's, he's lost, so one of these days we hope to find him. Uh, but Justin's going to tell the whole story. There's so much more uh, about Noah Richardson, uh, about um, the trial or oh, trials sure. in this case. Oh. Um, of course, our friends at the historic prison in Rollins come mm -hmm. into play. Um, so just a lot of interesting ins and outs. And then there's another bit about the Means family and um, revenge, um, uh, moving to Wyoming. So it's just quite, it could probably be a movie. It's that good of a story. Gosh. Um, so maybe we should work together and, and create when, a movie. When did that happen? 1905. Oh, okay. Yep. So right back. Yeah, early Gillette. I mean, yeah. Gillette's just a small cow town at that point still. Mm -hmm. um, it still could be fairly wild. Um, so September 1st, 1905, Gillette News. The headline is Alley Means Shot. Gosh. Yeah, so 119 years ago this fall. And uh, so come and learn about that, please. It's going to be a, a great presentation. Plenty of time to ask questions. We are partnering with the Wyoming State Archives and their evening speaker series. So uh, Justin will be live in person at the Rockpile Museum. So you can come to that. Or if you're not able to make it, uh, oh. you can watch online uh, in conjunction with the State Archives. Cool. So Thursday, April 11th, 7 p.m. Okay. Then, uh, one week later, and I mentioned this last month, but Paul Horstead, author, one of the authors of Exploring with Custer, uh, will be here in person at, at the Rockpile Museum. So that is also going to be 7 p.m. Uh, this is the new fourth edition of their book, and the fourth edition has updates, uh, new photographs, new sections. It's got a little um, bit of history and culture uh, from the Lakota people and talks about what this expedition, how this changed their lives, and what the, um, what the Black Hills means in their culture and what what they still mean to them today. So that's very interesting. Um, Paul's going to come and he's going to bring books and sell books and sign books. So um, bring your uh, checkbook with you or cash. Uh, we, we do offer that to our authors a lot is that they can generate a little more sure. money on, through the sales of their book. But. Yeah, and 
last month when you brought this book, I, I flipped through it a little bit, and it's it's neat on the inside. I thought it was really cool. Oh, it's a beautifully well done book. That's why it's fifty dollars. Yeah. Um, glossy pages, lots of maps. I love maps. Uh, they really tell a story for me. Uh, but then the photos. Um, they have found, uh, I believe it's 50 different locations that um, the photographer in 1874, Illingworth, um, they, they have found every single location. Now, uh, mm -hmm. in the previous editions, I don't believe they knew exactly where all of them were. Gosh. But over their research, over this span, and it's the, the first edition was 20 years ago, I believe. Oh. So the, they've been able to find all the spots. And Paul is the photographer side of the, of the book. Hmm. And so he can tell us a lot about when he first started retaking the photos, he was still using a film camera. Oh, and sure. he said it was very hard to get the images because of the lenses and the different film. and Oh, getting it to line up. and Yeah. And kind of match up to match up very well yeah but now with the digital cameras he's been able to really almost point for point put his tripod in the same place that it was 150 years ago and take a picture and so it, for me as a historian it just like this pulls everything together right it pulls historic photography and artifacts and and place together to weave quite a story and um very influential in the history of this region um, in the western United States. So come out that night, April 18th, 7 p.m. Uh, both talks are free. Uh, we try not to charge for our educational events, if at all possible, and uh, these are the same. So um, come out, buy a book, and learn about Custer and the 1874 expedition. And uh, you've also got the, the Sheep Herders Festival in, in May. Right. Yeah, I just want to give an early advance notice. It'll be our third annual Sheep Herders Festival. Uh, it'll be May 11th, Saturday. We have some exciting things to announce probably in the next edition of County Connection about a cultural immersion dinner on Friday night that we will be selling tickets for. Um, but I don't want to give too much away or um, be premature in, in selling tickets. But um, Saturday, we're going to do a lot of the same things that we've done in the first two years. We'll have the sheep and the sheep herders wagons. Uh, we'll see sheep dogs working. Um, David Rompet will be over from Buffalo uh, to talk Basque history and culture and music. We'll have the Basque dancers, Scottish pipers and drummers. Uh, there'll be some food for sale. Um, the Lukenka, the Basque sausage is one of my favorites. Uh, we will have... Um, vendors this year it's kind of a oh. new thing okay we're kind of branching out a little bit and having uh vendors uh that create uh wool products oh. and and create wool from sure. um we believe our neighbors from buffalo at mountain meadow wool will be over I, oh. you guys did a show over there i think once yeah uh, yeah one yeah. of our north by northeast programs yeah, yeah. so yeah. that's exciting and then um just a lot going on, and we're going to just jam-pack that Saturday with lots of fun and uh, hopefully teach a little bit along the way. So that's kind of the goal is to have fun and learn at the same time. So third annual Powder River Basin Sheep Herders Festival, May 11th at the Rock Pile Museum. And it's below the Rock Pile on the fire department level. Sure, down in that, that big field down there. Yep, down in the big field. And so... Um, We'll have it, if, if we have enough moisture to have grass, fingers crossed, we'll have it mowed and, and cut and ready for everybody to have a good time. All right. And uh, you mentioned you also wanted to talk about the, uh, the walking tour. Yeah, I didn't, we don't, I don't talk about this much. The, the Gillette Wyoming walking tour, historic downtown walking tour, uh, this is really uh, Mary Kelly's work. I have to give her all the credit with the Campbell County Historical Society, and then um, some funding assistance through Gillette Historic Preservation Commission, which is a, a, our city board for preservation, and photos from the Rockpile Museum. Uh, this is available at any time at the museum. You can come and pick up a copy. Uh, if you're out walking and want to do a little historical reading downtown at the same time, if you have family in town or visitors, 
This is a really nice little booklet. They're free, so come and get them. And uh, could be for a basket, for a visit, you know, oh, welcome sure. basket or a birthday basket or something. Sure. Um, so come and get those. Uh, with the weather turning nice, it's it's a good time to get out and do some walking. So wanted to mention that, and then of course, gift shop items. Yep. Um, talked about exploring with Custer. We have a, a new cookbook. Um, well, it's a new edition. It's the third edition of the What's for Supper cookbook from the Happy Hours Lady Club of Rocky Point. Oh, okay. So they've added um, new recipes, and they've got all the old recipes in here as well. So sure. um, one of those fun community things. They've got it divided uh, into different sections from... Uh, that they've added over time, but you know, it's got um, standard cookbook. It's got your main dishes, your sure. your salads, your appetizers, your desserts, um, lots of good recipes, and then some historical photos in here as well, which always piques my interest of the Rocky Point area. This is the old Rocky Point Community Center, um, and then the new community center. So um, help that out. It helps helps these ladies. Um, fund the activities of their club as well. So not only does it help the museum, it helps the, the uh, ladies club. And some other new books. This is uh, Steve Friesen's new book, Galloping Gourmet, Eating and Drinking with Buffalo Bill. Hmm. Um, I brought this because I don't, I, I may have brought it last time, but um, Steve is a friend of mine. We went to the same graduate school. Oh. Really nice guy, a character. He worked at Buffalo Bill Museum and Grave in Golden for many years. Um, he's going to be up here. Okay. We've agreed to have him come up and speak for us. I don't have a date necessarily yet, but keep your eyes peeled for that. Galloping Gourmet is $24.95. So some of that other good Western history, Custer, Buffalo Bill, all those famous names. And then a couple of new books from... Uh, an Italian-American fellow over in the Jackson Hole area, uh, Gap Pucci, um, talks about his life in Wyoming. Uh, so we married adventure and then we do the damnedest things um, are his two books. And I'm told they're fantastic stories. Uh, so some good, more modern Wyoming history right there. Oh, sure. I haven't read them yet. I'm quite interested to, to hear more about it. But... Uh, these new books, other new books, uh, toys, um, gifts, pins, anything you would want in our gift shop. So it is open when we're open, 8 to 5, Monday through Saturday. And that supports the Rockpile Museum when you buy things from the gift shop. It does. But yep. if you want another way to support the museum, you could also join the Museum Association. That's right. The Museum Association is, is our friends group, nonprofit. And um, all the members of the museum are through the Museum Association. And all that money stays right here in Gillette and supports and promotes what we're doing at the Rockpile Museum. And I'll give you one example. Um, sometime next week, I believe, or the week after, a uh, big truck will be rolling into our tiny parking lot, if it can fit, and unloading five brand new exhibit cases. Oh, wow. All funded and paid for by the members of the Rockpile Museum Association. Oh. So um, they are really at this point instrumental in the operations of the museum. Uh, they fund a lot of different things for us and um, this is just one example, exhibit cases. So when you join, um, not only does your money support that, you get uh, free admission for the year, you get 10% off in our gift shop, you get advance notice of uh, special limited attendance events, uh, say for example, a cultural immersion dinner. Um, you sure. might be able to buy tickets a few days before the general public. Uh, so there is great benefit in joining. You'll also receive a um, newsletter that will keep you up to date on all the events and programs at the museum. That way if you miss County Connection one month, um, you can say, oh, the newsletter is on the fridge, just yeah. take a look. So lots of great things that they do for us, and they're, they're growing stronger, and um, we're just so pleased for all the hard work that they do for the museum. Mm -hmm. All right. Was there anything else for April? 
I don't think so. Just stay up to date with us, rockpilemuseum.com, on Facebook or Instagram. And then uh, we also have the YouTube channel. So uh, you can find all our information and events on those platforms. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming today. Thank you.